Today we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Institution of Environmental Sciences with some help from our friends across the sector. It's with great pleasure I congratulate the IES on its uh, 50th anniversary. I'm wanting to congratulate the Institute for Environmental Sciences on your 50th anniversary. I'm delighted to add my voice to those celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Institute for Environmental Sciences. I just wanted to congratulate you all on your 50th anniversary. What an extraordinary achievement. Your institution in its 50th year has more life in its veins than any other that I can think of. I wanted to say thank you to all of the IES staff, the trustees and the vice presidents who've made the IES what it is today. 50 years later, what a change in awareness, public awareness and professional awareness of environmental science. And the IES has had a role in that shift. And I'm proud to have had a small part in that uh, initiative too. I'd like to congratulate the IES on reaching its half century. Congratulations, Congratulations and, and happy 50th, 50th anniversary, anniversary IES. I am really glad to be working with IES. I wanted to add my congratulations to everybody for your huge success over the last 50 years and to wish you all the very best for the future. I'm delighted to join the institution in celebrating its 50th anniversary and wishing you all the best for the next, really, for the planet, crucial 50 years. The environmental science is the foundation on which all of the policy and law that protects our environment is built. Over those 50 years, environmental science has gone from really a very niche profession to something that is extraordinarily important. And the IES does a wonderful job of bringing together the whole profession and providing the support that it needs. I hate to admit it, but I've been working in the environmental movement for 40 years now. And we've seen such changes, we've seen huge challenges, we've also seen great progress. One of the most important things actually has been the development of science to help us understand what we're talking about and to make progress by being able to lobby effectively for better change. The IES is the UK's first dedicated professional body for environmental sciences. Since joining the board in 2016, I've seen it go from strength to strength, with a growth in membership numbers, establishment of new community groups and diversifying into new environmental sectors. Back 20 years ago, I and a small number of air quality professionals decided to found the IAQM, working closely in partnership with the IES. Back then, I could never imagine that two decades later, the IAQM would be such a strong and thriving organisation with over 600 members and making its contribution to air quality management. We could never have succeeded, however, without the solid support and enthusiastic commitments of our IES colleagues and I'd like to recognise their contribution in making the IAQM what it is today. I am very thankful for the IES. Over the years it's been a great place for me to network, learn about projects in the industry and learn more and I love that. I've been a member for a number of years and couldn't live without my Environmental Scientist magazine which I read from cover to cover. I won't be I'm afraid around in 50 years time to send a follow-up message but what I will be quite sure about is that IES will continue to provide excellent training skills and recognition for the environmental scientists that we so desperately need if we're to preserve living on a habitable planet. 5,700 of you that comprise uh, the IES basically represent all the skills, all the talents for the measurement of all that is important, good and systemic that make up what makes this single planet home of ours that we're trying to save. In this rapidly changing world, uh, it's more important than ever to root policy and policy change in sound science and that's what you've been doing since you were set up. When I chaired the Environmental Audit Select Committee in Parliament and subsequently in my work, including with the NHS, it's vital that we tackle the issues of environment and health and bring them all together. What we have to do though is find a way of speaking with one voice. There's a long way to go. We've got climate change, we've got sewer overflows, we've got soil damage and so on. So there's no shortage of issues uh, to investigate. We need to be able to make sure that we've got the skills in order to meet the environmental challenges of the future. And that's why I'm really glad to be working with IES. So thank you for all you've done. Thank you again. Thank, and thank you, you IES. IES. If I had a glass, I'd raise it to you. May you have another 50 very healthy years ahead. Thank you. Long live the IES. Congratulations and here's to our next 50 years. Many happy returns and happy birthday.